Hi, we've made, uh, we started with making a series about Office tools and applications. And LibreOffice is one of the first. And it's already read here, so let's also do an update and see what comes in. I just want to have an, uh, there you go. So there's a new Linux version in here. So whenever you see something Linux related, you just update well and then reboot. Don't forget to reboot afterwards. So if you type, if we started with LibreOffice as the first one, it's one of the packages that's um, included on most of the distros, LibreOffice. So yay, LibreOffice is this one. We've installed a fresh one and I just wanted to make an, another um, look at, let's see the reboot here, come on. Kernel is installed. Oh, last thing maybe, PKSYUA, anything changed on the AUR front? Nothing, okay. So, sudo reboot. It is. There was no, not taking in here for Arco Linux. Well, I know of course, because uh, we put it online. But if there is, you should check if you need to run a scale or something. So, this is the new kernel going to, to start here. And we're gonna install an extension, not an, uh, well, a theme actually. I just wanted to have a look at a theme that I just saw. I say, oh, look at that. And the question is also, guys, we cannot test all these, how many numbers? 275 things here that we can test and, and, and find out what does it do, etc. So we're not gonna do that, of course, obviously. But um, we can give each other tips. So if you say, oh, that's an interesting thing, and let's put it on our tutorial. We have started with an article, and it's gonna be a very long one uh, because it's one article to catch it all. So office, and there is a article just about the Arch Linux Office suit or the series. And it is, it's this article where we will put every piece of knowledge. So if you have other LibreOffice extensions, things you say, hey, should add this to the, to the script or add this to the script because, and then you explain it, then we can uh, make our scripts better. The point is, I saw something about the theme. So if we open up a writer, let's take a LibreOffice writer. Let's take a look and also let's take a screenshot. So control shift print screen, select area to grab, take screenshot. Whoop. And this is the look today. This is the original for a uh, writer. And how will it look then? if we install something else. So this is too much, way too much, Control C. So you go up and you say theme, just themes. So you have Papyrus LibreOffice Fresh RPM theme. It's orphans. There's an impress, it's a sound system, sound, sound, sound theme, sound theme. This is the one that caught my eye or the other one. So we have a Git version and we have a normal version is however from 2017, but let's give it a go. So number one, gonna use this guy. Let's see what's gonna happen. So it's this, I mean, we can't test everything. The question is now, how will it look? Do I need to do something? I've never done this, this is my first time. Let's go for LibreOffice Writer. So everything looks exactly the same. We have put it in German, by the way. Um, so probably we need to go to Eigenschaften or some way. So I need to tell this guy what theme it is. Might be also in, and that's maybe the first thing I should look. That's in the general thing. This is the general guy, LibreOffice. That's where we changed our languages. Here did we, did we change the languages, but themes. Let me figure this out. All right, guys, this took longer than I thought to find it, but finally I did find it. So when you're putting up LibreOffice Writer, for example, you'll see that these icons are a bit uh, on the old side. 
and depending on the theme you've chosen you maybe want to have different icons one you can change to the theme that you like in the sense that you go to the general xfce settings and you say i'm going to use the papyrus icons if you choose one of these guys and close close LibreOffice, and again reboot it and uh, let's take the writer again if you do this let's put it also in eden here right mouse click clip in dock so i don't need to type it anymore this has changed considerably there's also a dark one which is also maybe nice but it's it's okay right so this is possible but then you are gonna change everything which is also good if you choose for papyrus and say this is the thing just need to fix here an icon this is non-existing so you need to open up inherits line of papyrus and put servant for instance in it then you'll have icons for our clinics these are stuff just for us papyrus doesn't know we have these applications so that's a possibility but if i did not want to go that direction i wanted to keep the study arc which is now these days the official kind of uh, launching icon theme but you know we are all about teaming you choose whatever icon theme you want but with what if we want to keep study arc and but still have a beautiful LibreOffice? i found where it is now doesn't matter if you're speaking Italian or Russian or anything, it's gonna be in the same place. It's gonna be up here, one, two, three, from the last count here, options. And in options, we have here LibreOffice, open it up. And we have here the personalize button, which was not where I needed to be, Eric. What was it again? This is something else, this is for Firefox themes. I think it was Ansicht or the view maybe. I don't know what is in English because we've, Put everything in German just to check if that works and then put a dictionary in and, and etc spelling on that so that works so we can set stuff in here change these guys and suddenly I found it I said look at that we have here the symbol style or the symbol style what's what icon style probably in English so automatically tango breeze breeze colibri elementary what did we install we've installed papyrus papyrus dark so you can choose papyrus and you can say uh, save so apply probably and this looks all the, also rather good right it's it's grayish on this carbon look which is nice and if you go to was it this guy no it was the other guy we have another one dark and then you get this white thing and you just 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 keep trying out what's this guy never chose that okay that's this look and just have fun with it so yes here it is it's hidden away in a particular part of the system and thanks to it's being hidden away this far i've also seen that is there is a lot of tweaking and theming and changing there are lots of settings in there that are just awesome also, if you are working with extensions, there's an extension manager in here. So there's a very, it's very, very um, complete this application. So that concludes our little theming. Uh, what if I want to theme LibreOffice? All right, cheers.